Peterson is an author, designer, teacher, and entrepreneur who shares her creative talents here on Cool to Craft and also at her Craft Tech University. Many of you know Linda for her work in Friendly Plastic where she transforms those strips of plastic. You know, they're the little one inch by six inch strips of plastic. She transforms them into stunning art jewelry. Today, Linda is going grungy with a vintage grunge brooch. I'm delighted to welcome Linda Peterson. Hi, Linda. Hi, Tiffany, and thanks everyone. I am really excited today. I, I'm just excited about all of our new shows and everything that we have coming up in the new year. Um, we just got so much creativity going on, and we're excited to share it with you. Now, today's project, I feel like this is the friendly, eco-friendly plastic um, show for Cool to Craft, because I loved Heidi's project and how she um, has her eco-friendly plastic. So we're going to be using friendly plastic and a technique that we've used before, but now that we have kind of the basic techniques, we're going to mix them up a little bit and make some new things with them. So um, are you ready to get started? If Tiffany will put up the slide, I will adjust my camera. And these are those non-stack uh, Teflon pans that you get at the uh, My Bed or Bed Bath and Beyond. Let me. There we go. I want to take some of that shadow off so that you can see. And I'm working directly on. You want to work directly on some non-stick surface. The reason I'm working on the pan is because it keeps my sticks flat. And so what I've done, if you're not familiar with friendly plastic, I know we have some newbies in here. It comes in a in a strip about a quarter or about an inch and a half wide this way, and it's about seven inches long. This is part of a strip. So what I've done here is I've cut up different strips of different colors of the plastic. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going today. And I laid them all together so you can uh, arrange these in any color palette that you want. And what I've done to cut my strips is real easy. I've just used a pair of scissors. You can use uh, a mat cutter if you want perfectly straight strips, but I find that for me, and I'm kind of impatient, I like things done really quickly, I can just use my tonic scissors and it cuts through the plastic just fine, just like this, all right? So the friendly plastic uses heat, and that's how we melt the plastic together, and I use my good old heat tool. You can use, there's different methods of heating, and we talk about this in our uh, Fusion Illusion class, it's our basic to friendly plastic, but I'm using this one because it's quick and easy not messy and then way you don't have to get a whole lot of tools out so what you're going to do is you're going to melt this and apply heat until you can see fingerprints in the plastic now, I haven't done it here just for the sake of time but when you do you will get strips that look like this and they'll be fused together just like you see here this is the back and the strips are fused together. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead, just like you cut those single colors apart, you're going to cut these strips apart. And this is kind of like making a mosaic pattern. I'm going to cut several strips. And if you want to vary the pattern, you can, um, oops, that one's, you can make these wider or you can make them thinner. And then you're going to come back and you're going to lay the strips opposite of one another. So um, if you have, for instance, I have this teal right here and I have teal here. So I've just flipped the strips around and you put them back together just like you did. And it makes a neat little mosaic pattern. So when you finish that, it should look something like this one. And you're going, again, you're going to apply the heat and you're going to fuse them all together. So remember that when you apply heat, uh, you'll know it's when it's ready to stamp or when it's ready to cut when you can put your fingerprint in there. And when it's at that point, then what you'll do is you'll come in with a cookie cutter or uh, a stamp if you want texture. I've coated my cookie cutter with some Vaseline and then I just simply press and cut out my design. Now the cool thing about Friendly Plastic is when it's hot, it's soft and when it's cold, it's hard again. So what you'll do is you'll let it cool down before you remove your cookie cutter and then you'll pop out your shape like this. This is the circle shape that we have made. This is actually the center of our project. And here's the fun part. So this is kind of a take on something that we've done before. Now what I'm going to do, and it's funny that Heidi used eyelash 
um, trim because I'm also using eyelash trim. I promise we didn't plan this. But this is the trim that comes off of a collage pack. So when you buy it in the store, you get several different trims. This was the bottom trim. And you're going to use about three inches of this trim. When you do that, for the most part, you will generally get, mine's beaded, so you'll get either a three or four of these little beaded um, little danglies here. And then you're going to just twirl this around into a circle, and you're going to glue it with some tacky glue, okay? I already have one here already done. And when you glue it, sometimes your little dangles come together and sometimes they don't. So if, if one is kind of off and you don't like the placement, you can just snip it off and use it for a different project. So this is the backing of our medallion, of our uh, brooch. And now all I have to do is apply some tacky glue and I'll center it right on the front. When this is dry, now when you know when you're working with tacky glue, it's white, but it dries clear, then you'll simply just glue on uh, a uh, pendant back or a, uh, I can't even think of the name, <laughs> your pin back, that's what I'm trying to think of, the pin back to the back and you've got yourself a nice little Victorian brooch. So, here's kind of what it looks like and this one here I added a little charm. See? Really, really quick and easy.